Oh hey, I'm Steve, and I am not a professional mechanic. And this is not intended to be a how-to video. It's just my personal journey going from a completely stock 2002 Tahoe to a heavily modified 2002 Tahoe, and all the little fixes that I needed to make along the way. I like to make these little videos because when I take stuff apart, they help me to remember how to put stuff back together again. So if somebody watching this can learn from my mistakes and not make the same mistakes themselves, I feel like it's worthwhile. So, here we go. All right, so we're happily driving along in our car and we notice that the battery light comes on. There it is right there. And also notice it is below 14. Uh, so while running, that's not necessarily a good thing. So uh, a couple issues here. So the question is, is it the battery? Is it the alternator? Um, what to do? So, you know, typically with the engine running, uh, the alternator charges the battery, so that, that would be uh, above the 14 mark. And as you can tell, we got squat, and we got that light right there coming on and off and on and off. So, if we turn her off, she starts up fine, which leads us to believe that our battery's okay, but we'll do some further testing. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and kill this thing right now. All right, so first thing I wanna do is check the voltage. So you can get your voltmeter, put it on DC 20, and red to red, and black to black. And we do seem to have a charge to our battery. So our battery's got juice. All right, so a couple things that we know so far is it starts up fine, which eliminates any potential problems with the starter and I'm not so much thinking the battery anymore so my attention shifts over to the alternator now people will tell you in order to diagnose an alternator issue all you need to do is fire up the car let it run and then pull the negative cable on the battery and if it dies then it's definitely the alternator uh, the problem is is that in newer cars uh, with all the computer controls and everything like that uh, you could potentially cause more harm than good so uh, although that will work, uh, especially in older cars, non-ECM cars, from everything I've read, it's ill-advised. So what I want to do is I'm going to check a few things on the alternator. Now notice this alternator is brand new, so why in the world was it giving me issues? So I want to check the connections. That connection's good. I want to make sure that the connections are nice and clean. I mean, that's pretty solid right there. Follow that wire to this little box right here. That connection is good and solid and clean. And we're gonna to continue to follow this connection all the way to the battery. And all of our connections are good, they're solid, they're clean. So the next thing I wanna do is uh, I'm gonna fire it back up and make sure that uh, make sure that the belt's not slipping here and that it's actually turning this. So we'll go ahead and do that next. With it running, that alternator should be charging our battery. And it's not. So eventually this battery is going to die. So I'm going to go ahead and kill it. Okay, so luckily for me, I was able to find the receipt. And this puppy is going back. It's only six months old. Always undo the negative battery cable when working on your car stuff. Okay, so Napa hooked me up with a uh, brand new one, and I'm going to go ahead and throw it in and see what's up. All right, so I got the new alternator in place, and I got my belts back on. Don't forget to plug the electricals back in. And uh, obviously there's a connection back here, and battery's back and connected. And when we fire it up... Charging. 